Hi, I'm Lawrence, and I would like to show you what kind of experiments we are doing here in our lab called Loudness. In this lab, our participants perform listening tasks while we measure their electroencephalogram, or in short, their EEG. To record EEG signals, we put such a cap on the head of our participants. To this cap, we attach little electrodes that are connected to the scalp of the participants via some conductive gel. Now, what we measure is small changes in electrical potentials that are emitted by the brain. If these changes are very regular, we can see waves of certain frequencies, so-called brain waves. One example is alpha waves. Alpha waves have approximately 10 ups and downs per second, which is their typical frequency. Now, alpha waves are stronger at rest compared to when a participant is involved into a complicated task. This and many other phenomena shows that alpha power is related to the working load the brain has to deal with. Listening in noisy environments is a situation of high working load for the brain. We would like to understand better how the brain is solving that situation and how hearing aids can help the brain to do so. This is one reason why we measure EEG. There are other brain waves that are more closely related to what the participant is actually listening to. Listen to my voice. You may hear that speech follows a certain rhythm. This rhythm is created by the way the words are expressed in a certain speed, how their syllables are connected, and how they are interrupted by short moments of silence. Now, if we ask participants to listen to a voice, we can see in the EEG that their brain is following that rhythm. Now imagine that we present two talkers at the same time and we ask participants to attend one of them and to ignore the other. Since each of those talkers has their own rhythm, we can see in the EEG which of the two the brain of the listeners is following. And this is very valuable information when it comes to developing hearing aids that should support selective attention. And this is another reason why we measure EEG. Besides measuring EEG in the lab, we also would like to let hearing aid users benefit from EEG more directly. This is why we developed these earpieces, which have little EEG electrodes attached, such that a hearing aid may be able to measure EEG and adapt to the current listening situation. For example, based on the alpha waves, a hearing aid could estimate how difficult a listening situation is, or based on the rhythm of the talkers, a hearing aid could estimate which of the two talkers is currently attended. And this is why we measure ear EEG. If you look up here, you can see what a real experiment looks like. I hope I could shed some light on what we are doing here in our loudness lab. Thank you for visiting. Uh, and this and that. <laughs> <laughs>